Palm Beach could soon be doing something that has never been done before, at least when it comes to bike riding. The mayor wants to close off a lane of traffic, used by cars, of course, and make it just for bicyclists. She came up with this idea after a recent trip to Copenhagen, where she studied bike riding in various cities. The Now's Rachel Leto has details on where you could be seeing more bicycles and less cars. You got to start somewhere, and I think it's a great start. And you know, it's a very small section that would service very few people, but it's a start. The city is exploring the idea of making a stretch of Flagler Drive the first roadway downtown to have separate bike only lanes. We're in a unique opportunity where we can cycle year round for the most part. And if there was the ability to do that, I think a lot more people would. As you can see right now, there is no bike lane on this portion of Flagler, but that's something officials are looking to possibly change. Oh, a huge amount of population in town that rides bicycles recreationally. Um, very few that use it utilitarian. Um, again, because of the facilities that are lacking. The idea is to redesign Flagler Drive from Lakeview Avenue to Banyan Boulevard so there are two driving lanes. The rest of the space would be dedicated to cyclists. Uh, maybe kind of tight. I don't know how that would work, actually. I mean, you need to have something for the bikers to go in, but I, I mean, with, you know, during the season, it gets kind of crazy out here, so that would be kind of scary, actually. I mean, you know, having, you know, less travel lanes, you're going to have people with cars that are going to be kind of congested with the bicyclists. Yes, that could be an issue, I would think. For local cyclists like Tom, congestion is the least of his worries. Oh, multiple accidents, been cut off by cars, stuff thrown at me by vehicles, people in cars, um, yelled at to get on the sidewalk, you name it, I've had it. <laughs> For the now, I'm Rachel Leto. Oh, Rachel, thanks. Traffic engineers are hoping to have some preliminary research done by the end of the year.